Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Empire actress Lindsay Perlman found dead after going missing for days. LAPD confirms actress Lindsay Perlman has been found dead, less than three days after going missing. She was 43. The Empire alum was discovered on Friday morning near the entrance of Runyon Canyon Park in Hollywood, according to a statement from the Los Angeles Police Department. The L.A. County Coroner's Office later identified the body as the former General Hospital actress, per the LAPD. A cause of death has not been released. Perlman was last seen in Los Angeles on Tuesday around 9 p.m. local time, according to friends and family. On Thursday, Savannah Perlman, Lindsay's cousin, said in a tweet that the Chicago Justice actress phone was last pinged on Sunset Boulevard, just 1.5 miles from where her body was located near the intersection of Franklin Avenue and North Sierra Bonita Avenue. It is unclear if Lindsay was found in the dark silver 2015 Honda Fit that Savannah described as the actress car. We are deeply saddened by Lindsay Perlman's passing today, her rep. Michael Chiavrinai, said in a statement obtained by People. The family has asked for privacy during this difficult time while they process and grieve. Lindsay's husband, Vance Smith, also confirmed his wife's death on Instagram. The police found Lindsay. She is gone, he wrote Friday afternoon, adding, I am broken. In a tweet posted Saturday, Savannah said Lindsay's sister had requested she share the phone number for the National Suicide Hotline. Please know that you are never truly alone, she wrote on Twitter. Lindsay appeared on various shows throughout her career, from The Ms. Pat Show on Bet Plus and Vicious on a Band Flix to American Housewife on ABC and Selena, the series on Netflix, her MDB. Never miss a story. Sign up for People's free daily newsletter to stay up to date on the best of what People has to offer, from juicy celebrity news to compelling human interest stories. Dynasty star Elaine Hendricks was among the stars that attempted to help locate Lindsay after she was reported missing. On Friday, the actress, 51, thanked everyone who shared Lindsay's missing person report in a tweet addressing her friend's death. I am deeply saddened and stunned to share that she was found deceased, Hendricks wrote, before adding, PLS send her friends and family love. General Hospital executive producer Frank Valentini praised Lindsay's work on the soap opera in his own tweet. Lindsay Perlman was terrific on at General Hospital and we are saddened to hear of this tragedy, he wrote on Friday. Our hearts go out to her family and friends. Pound GH. Former soap opera star Lin Chen paid tribute to her friend Saturday morning on Twitter, alongside a photo of the animal-loving actress sitting on the ground while petting a dog and a cat. This is how I will remember Lindsay Perlman. Effortlessly beautiful and talented. Hilarious. Compassionate. Unapologetic, wrote Chen, 45. She lit up every room. She listened intently on stage and off. She so loved animals. The actress added, I am sorry to her family and all the communities who deeply adored her. Ghost star Danielle Pinnock also mourned Lindsay's death in a tweet on Ring the Chicago native and her journey to Hollywood. The 33-year-old star said she had talked to Lindsay two weeks ago. I met the most talented people ever in the Chi, Pinnock wrote on Saturday. She described Lindsay as hilarious, goofy AF stunning, and ridiculously gifted. It feels surreal that she is gone, Pinnock added. Never miss a story, sign up for People's free weekly newsletter to get the biggest news of the week delivered to your inbox every Friday. Donations in honor of Lindsay can be made to Santee D, or, a volunteer-driven animal rescue and adoption center serving the greater Los Angeles area, according to her family and rep if you or someone you know is considering suicide. Please contact the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1 800 273 Talk 8255. Text Strength to the Crisis Text Line at 741 741 or go to suicidepreventionlifeline.org.